Hey, this is 1001 Investing Channel. We are here with tips and secrets about investing. So please pay attention to this audio. The risk of mental ruin for traders. Losing a position is aggravating, whereas losing your nerve is devastating. Ed Seikota. There are three components of trading that have to be managed correctly for the trader to be successful. There is risk management, system management, and mental management. I think that the majority of traders that don't succeed fail because mental limitations, not their system shortcomings. This also includes professionals and retail traders. It comes down to discipline, self-control, and perseverance to eventually make it as a trader. A trader can be mentally ruined by stress, ego, arrogance, stubbornness, fear, greed, and emotional instability. These factors cause bad decisions that inflict emotional and mental pain that can't be overcome by most new traders, resulting in failure within the first year. Launching into trading for a living too early can have disastrous consequences for those that haven't educated themselves. Day trading, where many new traders start, can exhaust and break down their fortitude as they watch every tick in price all day, every day. Traders should protect themselves mentally and emotionally as much as they do financially. New traders must find the profitable system that they can trade. They should never put their net worth or lifestyle on the line for any one trade or string of trades. They should always be able to look at their trade objectively without their self-worth tied up in the outcome. Many legendary traders came back from ruin, Dan Zonger, Jesse Livermore, Nicholas Davers, and Alexander Elder lost their personal accounts but had no trouble coming back and trading again to win big. You can always get more capital if you have the confidence and perseverance to stick with trading when times get tough. The problem arises when you lose confidence in your own abilities, you think that the markets are just too hard, or that trading is not worth your time and effort. Trading too big, trading too much, and starting your trading before you have done your homework will likely result in an unpleasant trading experience. In the beginning, you can add up the time, effort, and loss of capital and determine that trading is difficult and may not be a good path for you. I'm sure doctors and lawyers face the same moment of decision at the beginning of their careers, as they look through the next 10 years of their life and realize the price they have to pay for the price of entry into their professional field. They realize that they will be educating themselves for 10 years, not for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but for the opportunity to pursue the pot of gold. Trading is no different, you must pay the price of admission. You must hold the goal that you want to achieve in your mind to give you the energy and drive to carry you through the losing trades and drawdowns. You must never forget the ultimate prize, freedom, independence, leisure time, and an improved lifestyle. The reason I stress the 1% rule for loss of capital per trade and finding a method that fits a trader's beliefs and personality is so they can survive that first year of trading. Trading may or may not be a good fit for everyone, but all new traders should at least have a year to decide if trading is right for them. The key to long-term survival and prosperity has a lot to do with the money management techniques incorporated into the technical system. Ed Seikota The above image shows the destruction of capital, not only for a losing streak, but also for a string of 10 trades with a 50% win rate, alternating between wins and losses. Many things cause new traders to fail. One of the main reasons that traders fail is because they don't understand the math of capital destruction. The more capital you risk per trade, the quicker you will lose it in losing trades. Once your capital is depleted, it takes a larger return to get back to even than what you initially lost. A 10% loss requires an 11% return to get back to even. A loss of 20% of your capital requires a 25% return to get back to even. 
A 50% loss of capital needs a 100% return just to get back to where you started. Risking 1% of your capital per trade puts you down 10% after 10 trades. Risking 5% per trade puts you down 50% after 10 trades. No matter how good you are, you can't trade so large that a single losing streak is your last. If you risk too much of your trading capital, even a few losses in a 50% winning streak will destroy your capital. You're not going to be perfect as a trader, and you have to play the defense needed to protect your trading account from losing streaks. You will have streaks of 50% win rates and losing streaks. The question is will you survive them with your current risk exposure? You have lost money trading because you exposed your capital to too much risk in a single trade. You haven't been profitable because your losses have destroyed your capital. Thanks for watching. I will upload a video every day with tips and solutions. So, for more please like and subscribe is free. Bye bye.